we have been covering recent issues of car break-ins in Bedford County as well as other parts of the viewing area. Well, now we're seeing car windows smashed in during the day. Happening at a state park in Cambria County, Maria Miller's been working this story and is live now with the details. New at 6. Maria? Well, Marty, we've all heard the warnings. Lock your car doors, hide anything valuable, maybe park your car near other cars. But this one is different. It's kind of hard to prevent someone breaking in when they smash through your window in broad daylight. On any given summer day, the Glendale Lake at Prince Gallitzin State Park sees hundreds of boaters, anglers, and kids playing in the water. It's a safe place for families to swim, picnic, and hike without much crime. But there's a new trend park rangers are seeing that concerns them. Over the past month, at least three vehicles have been broken into, and they weren't unlocked. It was their windows that were smashed. Unlock the door, open the door, and then that's when I saw that window smashed out and all the glass all over inside the car. It happened to Barb Whiteford and her family Wednesday night. She says they parked in this lot to go hiking on the trail. When they came back around 4.30, this is what they found. And I just kind of froze and I was like, oh, and then the kids came running, what, what, what? And then they were all like, oh. Shattered glass still lying on the ground near the trail on Thursday but her purse and all its contents still nowhere to be found. There was the important stuff, you know, my debit card, my checkbook, you know, driver's license. But there was much more inside her purse, like the pictures of her father-in-law who recently passed away that she fears she'll never get back. I can't even think of what all I had in there, but you know, you carry your life in your purse. And to a lot of people, that stuff's trash and it's gonna end up in a garbage can and it's stuff that I would really like to have back that I can't replace. Now, Whiteford has already frozen all of her accounts and stopped service on her cell phone. She tells me she loves that park, though, and she says what happened won't stop her from going back. In the meantime, if this has happened to you or you think you might have seen some of these crimes, you're asked to call the Ranger Desk at the park. Reporting live, Maria Miller, 6 News.